He is. The game is amazing. The game? No, it's just him as Superman. Oh, you said the game was amazing. No, Christopher Reeve. Oh. He was just, he was, you know, because objectively speaking, those movies are not good. Yeah. <laughs> None of them. Actually, not he, even the Richard Pryor one? But he made them so much better. The Richard Pryor one was pretty good. <laughs> I thoroughly <laughs> enjoyed the one with Richard. What is that one, four? Three. Three or? I okay. I honestly, I think the. Uh, but the, I think that was all Richard I think Pryor, the, though. I think the fight in the junkyard where he was split into two was actually incredibly interesting. Yeah. I thought that was good where they synthesized Red Kryptonite. I thought that was cool. Yeah. But uh, anyway, welcome. Oh, shit. <laughs> did we start? We did. Oh. You got to bleep oh, no. that out, man. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Welcome. Wait, did we start where I was talking about that thing? No. Oh, okay. No. Bum, bum. Christopher Reeve. We started at Christopher, Christopher Reeve. Reeve. Yes. Uh, the Superman. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Giga Hub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that are important to us, but may not be important to you. I am host one of three, Luis Del Torre. I am host two of three, Dai Kaji Tony. <laughs> I am host three of three, Adam mm-hmm. Krent. There you go. You got your numbers <laughs> right. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> The whole weekend didn't go to waste when I was teaching you numbers. <laughs> right, right. Uh, before we continue, let us uh, give a shout out to our sponsor, the wonderful Cosmic Comics, the jewel of the Mojave Desert, where we have everything your nerdy heart could desire. We just got a bunch of new shirts in, guys. A lot but of them, tons yeah. of shirts. Uh, shirt tons of shirts. Uh, we for did. you to come and uh, peruse through and buy some, hopefully. 36 new designs. 36 new designs. Guys, there's a Japanese Spider-Man shirt, and I caught Tony salivating looking at that shirt. Yes. Yeah. And I also <laughs> yes. I also want that shirt, yeah, so no, I, he's going to have to fight me for it. it. He's it's already a, got it. It's yeah. a part of my shrine. I have a Japanese Spider-Man shrine in my nice. room. Nice. Nice. Very good. Um, let's show off some of the stuff that they have here. What do we got first? I have the... Nausicaa, Valley of the Wind, collected manga, which, if you don't know anything about Miyazaki, this maniac, <laughs> I think, started to do designs for the movie and made a whole manga out of it because he's crazy. Yeah, because yeah. he's <laughs> like a genius and totally insane, but also miserable. Right. I've never seen a more <laughs> miserable genius than he, than Hayao Miyazaki. He's so driven, he, he cannot find the happiness that exists in his films. I think he died uh, inside long ago, which right. is very strange for someone who works in animation to just be dead inside. And if you don't know, Nausicaa Valley of the Wind is one of his earlier works. Um, yes. It is an amazing film, mm. um, but yeah. That's what I got. So you got okay. Uh, this uh, what I got is I got this game that we played. Where you did on Saturday. Saturday. Uh, it's it's not what you'd expect. It's a game called Wingspan. You basically collect birds like Pokemans, and uh, each uh, each bird has a special ability. Except for of course not the most American birds of all, the bald the eagle, bald eagle has and no the wild ability. turkey has no special ability because they don't need them. But they're worth a lot of points. They're worth a lot of points, and I had both of them on yeah, my mat. Did. So wow. uh, it, now it was a deceptively fun game. Yeah, yeah. And you, the artwork you, is beautiful. You, this is a very beautiful game. You brought it over, and I'm like, oh my god, how fun is a game about birds really going to be? <laughs> and it was once we got it going, it was yeah. it was fun. I I definitely want to play again. So. Uh, uh, we do have this. Is this the only copy? I think there's two copies here we at the have store. Three total, actually. Three, and this game is hot. So come yeah. get it, uh, ASAP. And there's also two expansions uh, already out that are here as well. Yep, it's been out for a while, but only recently did it start to catch, mm-hmm. I guess, fire. Once those thirty somethings get on right. that board game, yeah, right. game, it's it's fire. It's straight fire, guys. Right. It's a really great game, though. And then what do you got over there, Tony? Got some interesting back, back issues, issues here. Yeah. Uh, Treasuries. Yeah. You don't see those much. This, you could bring them in. Oh. There we uh, go. Yeah, these big treasuries of Superman the movie starring Christopher Reeve, Marlon Brando, Gene Hackman. Marlon yeah. Brando as Space Daddy. Space Daddy. Le- uh, Lex. Superman 2. Yeah. Nice. I forgot the name of the guy who played General Zod. General Zod. Zod. Oh, uh, that's... Uh, tra- 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 I, I, I know I recognize him from a uh, of other movies. Yeah. But I, his name's escaping me, but he was great. He was a great Zod. Yeah, stuff yeah. that you don't really see usually, especially in Kneel terms of back issues. Zod. Very cool 70s treasuries. He actually fairly late for the whole treasury thing. Mm. I think treasuries were already sort of going out of going out of popularity by the late They're 70s. Going out of style, guys. Yeah. But you can come get these right here, right now. All the stuff and more is available right. at Cosmic Comics. So come on down. Right. We have a knowledgeable staff. Uh, and mm-hmm. if we don't got it, we can certainly get it for you. It's true. Uh, so, yeah, come talk to our uh, come talk to anyone who works here, and they'll be able to point you in the right direction. It'll probably most likely be Tony because Tony's here every day. 
No. And Tony's usually at the front of the store most no. of the time. Believe it or not, no. Tony's Tony's. Tony, you're, well, every time I'm here, he's here. Yeah, and Tuesday afternoons he works up here, but that's like the end of the day. Okay. Well, yeah. don't don't give Tony's schedule out. <laughs> no one needs to know when Tony's here. They just yes, need to know that Tony is here. Don't mug me, please. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You trying to dox Tony? Is that what you're doing? Tony's an e-commerce specialist, so he's a lot of actually at least half of his shifts actually in the back doing behind the scenes stuff. E-com- yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, you know, he is our e-commerce technician. Yeah, so I, I get, I, if you see him, talk to him. And if not, then talk to any one of our other friendly right. staff people. Yes, um, right. And, uh, yeah, come on down, buy some stuff, have a good time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, I, I will <laughs> leave it to you. Bills We're, are paid. Bills are paid, yeah. S- uh, today's episode is the Steve Ditko Estate. Um, and it's what's going on in the world right now. This this show is actually the genesis of our own Daikaiju Tony. Thought it was a great idea for a show. Yes. Um, Steve Ditko Estate is attempting to reclaim the Spider-Man and Doctor Strange copyrights specifically. Mm. They've actually filed a lot more. Yeah, every they, character that every Steve, character Ditko, Steve so Ditko worked on. But those clearly yeah. are the two biggest. They're the biggest yeah. ones. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, Blue Beetle's on here. The question's on here. Yeah, yeah. Wait, for Marvel? What? No, 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 not Marvel. These are DC yeah. guys. He also yeah. had a, a hand in a, yeah. those guys there. And you know, I mean, they're some of my favorites, to be quite honest. But. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's an interesting case. Um, before we start discussing it, I'm going to get into a little background. You know, the the it's his estate. Obviously, Stid, Steve Ditko passed away. It was only like last year, maybe two Steve, years. Yeah, ago. Steve Ditko passed away in 2018. Okay, yeah, I knew it wasn't too long ago. Um, anyway, his his just to give you the background before we start talking about it, the estate of Steve Ditko filed a notice of termination with the United States Copyright Office with regards to um, specifically. Spider-Man and Doctor Strange that are currently held by Marvel Entertainment, but a lot of others as well. Uh, he is the co-creator of both characters. Now, what they're trying to do is attempting to use certain rights that were introduced in the 1976 Copyright Act, which allows creators to terminate copyright works of their characters uh, previously signed to another person or entity. However, the problem or the issue is when those characters were created, it was, well, we believe everybody, it's common knowledge that it was he was a work for hire, as was Kirby. But just to kind of bring up to speed, Kirby's family was ex- at least successfully enough to rattle the chains of Marvel enough that they actually settled. Um, so is the Steve Ditko estate able to do the same? Because how that all works is... Um, when you work for somebody and you create a character for them, technically it belongs to that somebody yeah. or that organization. When you when you when you're a hired contractor and then you own the rights and then you give the rights to them, you're able to get those rights back at a later date. That's the way, sort of the the very the very simplified way of how that works. Yeah. I'm not going to go into too much detail. So, with that being said. What do you guys think? So let's let's clarify something real right. quick, and let's see if I have this right because my legal like, guys, I haven't practiced law in a very long time, um, but <laughs> let's see if I can try to get this correctly, right? Uh, so right. he is suing uh, Marvel. His estate. This is his estate is suing Marvel for the copyright of Doctor Strange and uh, Spider Man. Right. Yeah. Now this does not mean that Marvel cannot publish Spider Man or Doctor Strange comics. They still can. However. Anything sort of to do with the lore of Spider-Man and Doctor Strange, they could not publish or they could not make mention of anymore. Is that, is that how that works? I don't know about that, but but like there are certain parts of the characters that belong that would belong specifically to uh, Steve Ditko. You know that that would be a slippery slope. I mean, if 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 the if the if the lawsuit succeeded, which I can't imagine it would, and I don't think that's the point of the lawsuit, I mean, they would own those characters back. Um, how that works as far as who can use what part of that character, who knows? I mean, well, I, I the, way, the way I understood it is, like, the story, the appearance of the characters, the powers, all that kind of stuff, like, they, it would belong to the Ditko estate. They could still publish a Spider-Man comic. I mean, we had talked about this with right, Conan, right, right. the Barbarian, right? People can publish Conan the Barbarian comics, but they can't call the comics Conan the Barbarian. They can't use Conan in the title because right. Marvel's greedy ass uh, exactly. trademarked so, the name, which I, I hate that, yeah, by yes. the way. I hate So that. this would be like which a... Which is Superman yeah. is in the same boat. Superman, to my knowledge, is public domain, but 
DC has trademarked, and Batman, but they've trademarked so many aspects of the character, mm-hmm. you couldn't possibly do a Superman or or, yep. or, or Batman story right. on your own without infringing on their trademarks. Yeah. Yes. So Which is absurd. That's ridiculous to me. So yep. what, what I understand is it's, is it's like that, but in reverse. So instead of you can't use the name, it's like you can't use these aspects of the character, but you can, you're free to have a Spider-Man. Right. You're free to have a Doctor Strange, just not the ones that I made. Yeah, I'm not sure how that would That's work how out. I understood that. I mean... Because, I, I, I mean, he yeah. designed the characters, right? right, he, right. he basically, like... Yeah, had like, input in their stories and stuff like that. So, like, well, a lot Steve of those... Steve Ditko was so... I mean, to call him a co-creator of Spider-Man specifically, and, to be honest, of Doctor Strange, is almost criminal. I mean, Doctor Strange, even by Stan Lee's own words, Doctor Strange is, like, 100% Steve Ditko's, mm-hmm. even though he's technically called a co-creator. Right. Spider-Man, Stan Lee does take some credit for, but, I mean... <laughs> I mean, Ditko really did ninety yeah. percent of the work Ditko, on that. Ditko was like the Bill and, Finger to, and, to, to and Spider-Man. Apparently, yeah, and apparently he had, oh, I want to say, fifty or sixty issues plotted out right. that Stanley oh, followed yeah. even after Ditko left. Mm-hmm. Like, so I don't know. I don't right. Know. So, w- which of course would be like the early, right? Uh, early mid sixties. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's the early incarnation of the character. So all those sort of notions of like Peter Parker and getting bit by a radioactive spider and all that stuff. Yeah. Would revert to Steve Ditko, Ditko's and they could state, so yeah. so they could have like they could have a Spider Man, yeah. just not that Spider Man that uh, you and I know already. I guess. Uh, which is I'm that's sure how filing, I understood it. I'm sure they're filing a lot um, of trademarks at the moment. <laughs> I passed <laughs> a bar exam. Yeah. I don't want to say which one. But what do you uh, say, Tony? Uh, what do you guys say? I don't think it exactly works like that. I'd have to like find a couple of threads online to because yeah, like it sure. was it was well in Twitter it became a matter of debate. <laughs> no, I'm sure. Yeah, and like there were some people on the side of Marvel. Oh, actually, a lot of people on the side of Marvel. Uh, um, F them. It doesn't. I know it doesn't exactly mean that. Um, Marvel's not. Marvel's definitely not going to lose Spider Man. No, but no, no. they're not. Gonna. I know. I know Disney would have to pay a royalty to the families, and they would have to. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure they could find a way around. And it. they would have to actually credit Steve Ditko's name in the credits because right. it turns out, with all the MCU movies, not once did they mention his name. Which in the is credits. a shame. Yeah. yeah, especially when it comes to Spider Man. Right. And Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. Um. Now. To get to the point. I don't think this has anything to do with regaining the actual rights. Right. I, I really don't. I think. What do that, you think this is? I Just in they're, theory, they're, what do you feel? They're doing exactly what Kirby's family did. Not the, not the family of Simon & Schuster, because that was actually different. Right. That was actually not work for hire. They actually um, so, they sold the rights to um, whatever previous DC was called, which I can't remember, Allied Publications or something yeah. like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is actually work for hire, but so was technically Kirby. Um, I think they're trying to do the same thing as Kirby's family, where they're basically trying to get some recognition for Steve Ditko's work, and honestly, they're trying to get some money for Steve Ditko's work. I don't, I don't think they'll ever stand a chance of getting those rights back. Right. To be honest, um, and it's such a slippery slope because how much history has, how much of Spider-Man's own history now. <laughs> 55 almost 60 years now yeah. is not Steve Ditko's you know what I mean yeah I mean most of it to be honest right. most yeah. of it um so I, I don't think it but I mean like w- when you think about like what what the aspects of Spider-Man and Doctor Strange are they're mostly all set in those that beginning run like right? everything you know even if it's the most basic thing about Spider-Man it's mostly in all those old works. I mean, honestly, yeah, I'll be honest. That is true. I cannot name uh, a memorable Spider-Man comic from the last 10 years. Yeah, and, uh, D- and Ditko was responsible for... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. And Ditko is responsible for Doc Ock. He's responsible for the Green Goblin. He's yeah. responsible for a lot of the early villains, the Vulture. Yeah. Right. A lot of those classic Spider-Man villains are all in Ditko's work. Mm. But I think this is more about getting... I was just going to say, paid? Do you think this is a cash <laughs> grab by the estate? I think it's a cash grab, but I also think it's it's getting him recognition because Steve Ditko was so famously mm-hmm. recluse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so famously... Oh, yeah, I have a signed Ditko comic so, for sure. <laughs> yeah, so famously anti... He was, My understanding is he was an objectivist, which mm-hmm. goes into Ayn Rand's philosophy, which, oh, boy. which I... As much as I have a problem with some of her writings, I actually kind of subscribe to it. It's not about the final product. It's about the work. 
and that was Steve Ditko. It's all about the work. Once it's done, ah, eh, who cares? Right. Like he he would explain to people who asked for his signature that you know I've already put untold number of hours into the work. My signature means nothing. Why yeah. why would I do that? So I could sell it, Steve Ditko. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I already have many hours and, yeah. and pull your head out of your ass, Steve Ditko. <laughs> I'm trying to sell this right, comic right. to people. So don't put my name on um, it. Little anecdote there. Somebody did call and said they had amazing, amazing fantasy fifteen signed by Ditko Lee Shut and up, Kirby. Really? I swear. And he goes, "Well, I'm thinking of bringing it in. I'm thinking, yeah, I would love to see that because, <laughs> come on, <laughs> signed by by Ditko and and Kirby and Kirby apparently. Which why would Kirby why would sign Kirby sign yeah, amazing fantasy? Kirby's 15, version yeah. of Spider-Man had a gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I would but, watch uh, that. Yes, yeah, I would watch. <laughs> then <laughs> no, but anyway, yeah, no, yeah. come on, Marvel. What if? What if Spider-Man had a gun? <laughs> <laughs> you like my web gun boy? <laughs> like, here's what happens, right? He gets beat up by Doc Ock, right? He goes home and he's sad. He's like, I'll never beat Doc Ock. And then he finds Uncle Ben's gun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll take care of that, yeah. that octopus man. Yes. I think I can beat Doc Ock with this. Yeah, jeez. Um... <laughs> I'm so, anyway, I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. I'm so I, sorry. I, th- I, th- I think that's what it's about. <laughs> don't honestly. do that. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. I think that's what it's about at the end of the day. I think <laughs> yeah. it's about getting it's, rich it's and about... recognition for Steve Ditko, sure. who in his own life really didn't seek that recognition. Right. So, so you would say it's more of a cash grab than anything else? Half. I, I would say half. at least half and half. I do I'm agree sure that he should get... cash grab is get... a strong part of it. I do, th- I do agree that he should definitely get credit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like mm-hmm. it, it, only within the last couple of years did they start crediting Bill Finger with Batman. anything yeah. about Batman. Right. And DC wasn't giving uh, Schuster and um, Simon, and Schuster. Simon and Schuster any love for, for uh, Superman until yeah. the estate sued him. Yep. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, and that's, that's the shame of it is these big companies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know. Don't like, work for Marvel and DC kids. <laughs> They kind of deserve it. They kind of deserve the credit sure. they get. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, I've, I said, if I see a Marvel "What If Spider Man Had a Gun," I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> um. Well, if the even if the Deco stayed win, I don't, I don't think like Marvel would be. They would. I don't think Marvel would stop making Spider Man content entirely. No. Even even if Marvel were to. Perhaps so, stop the main Spider-Man story. Yeah. There's still tons mm. of other Spider-Man content yeah. out there. And there's yeah. so much intertwined. I mean, you can't... And, I mean, they can take Miles Morales and go with it. Although, yeah. Would, although, to be fair, Miles Morales is such an anomaly of modern comics anyway. Yeah. I mean, to give an example, Miles Morales is a character who is wildly popular. Wildly popular. Everybody seems to know who Miles Morales Spider-Man is. Yeah. Nobody buys that comic. I think people <laughs> have. I think people love the idea of yeah, Miles yeah. Morales more than they like reading about Miles Morales. S- amazing spot. The classic Steve Ditko created Amazing Spider-Man with Peter Parker still far outsells Miles Morales. Yeah, yeah. But I would argue Miles Morales is probably more popular in the public consciousness. Sure, if yes. that makes sense. So yeah. I, you know, who knows? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's a sort of a microcosm of <laughs> modern comics. Well, that sucks know. because, you know, if they lose if they lose the ability to use Spider-Man, let's just say, worst case scenario, right? They lose Spider-Man. Now they have to come up with original ideas yeah. for Miles Morales? You mean, Ugh. They, you mean they can't keep recycling old Spider-Man <laughs> yeah. stories Ugh. of villains? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Now they gotta give Ghost Spider a chance? Ugh. That was a terrible name. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when Stacy Spider Woman. Honestly, would have been I, perfectly I wouldn't I wouldn't mind if they lost this case and they lost the rights to Spider Man and then great. I would want to yeah. see what they do creatively. But it honestly, is. that's not what's gonna happen there. Right. Marvel's yeah. gonna pay a pretty penny because in the end, they're gonna make way more money off of Spider Man. Yeah. Yes. Then they're gonna have to pay the estate. Spider Man prints money. So like, yeah, toys alone. he does. Spider Man prints Merchandise money. Toys yeah. alone. So Prince money. It somebody. would be stupid of them not if, to just like try to settle out of court with these guys. If you, yeah, if you look at every single Spider-Man movie, mm-hmm. whether you like it or not, and every and the one Venom movie, which in my opinion is terrible, I, I, they're I, all <laughs> six hundred million plus movies. And I right. worship like, that Venom movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, do <dear. laughs> I mean, just because of how cheesy it is. <laughs> well, okay, that's fair. But yeah, they're all six hundred mm-hmm. plus movies. Right. Six hundred million plus. All of them. It's just amazing, and some of those are bad. Yeah. Like, well, at least one of them is really bad. What, what, what did he call himself? Um, 
I don't remember if it was in the comic. Yeah, Spider Man does print money for Marvel. But in the in the sure. in the movie, in the first Tobey Maguire movie, when he went to to the wrestling thing, the human spider, the human spider. Can yeah. we just make a human spider comic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. It depends. Did Kirby say that in the original uh, Amazing Fantasy? I don't think so. I don't. Well, I don't know. But you know, I, I make know. make human just spider any... fight an army of bone saws. <laughs> yeah. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> The I bone, don't know bone saw clones. I don't know why bone saw. No one made a bone saw villain, really. Yeah, right. I would love it if bone saw was a villain in in the Spider Man comics. What are you doing up there? Yeah. Come on down here, yeah. Stay away from you. <laughs> yeah. The cream rises but, to the top, but, yeah. yeah. If, if the if the if Deco State wins, I wouldn't mind. Well, I don't think Marvel will actually have the balls to do this. And the story of Peter Parker. Let me get well. Considering what's going on right now in the comics, Ben Riley's taking the mantle again, and yeah, Ben Riley's yeah. getting a new costume, which is pretty similar. Oh, good. To That's what we all costume. want. But I do like his new costume, though. But I, I liked his original red and blue costume. I thought it was a really good update to the classic. Let's just bring yeah. back Spider Man 2099. <laughs> Oh yeah, Miguel. yeah, great character. And make it that good. Never and had it a good. That never had a decent villain. <laughs> he never had a decent. He villain. was Irish and what was he Mexican? He was, was he Irish Mexican and Mexican? Irish yeah, it's like Miguel O'Hara. Yeah, yeah. Um, he did come back for a little <clears throat> bit in the Nick Spencer run, just for a short little crossover right. when every other Marvel title had like a twenty ninety nine cover in it, just for the novelty yeah, of it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, okay, listen. Yeah. Excuse Let, me. Let yeah. let the Ditko estate have Spider Man, <laughs> and then just bring in Spider Man. Yes, Spider Man. Well, I, don't, I don't like what Marvel, the comics in particular, have been doing with the character right. of Spider Man. Like whenever there would be a multiverse crossover, he'd be a stereotypical Japanese guy with the samurai gi. I'm like, this isn't uh, this really? isn't Ugh. this isn't the Spider Man that I have a bootleg of. Right, in yeah. He needs to have a robot and a car and a motorcycle, right, right, yeah. and a power bracelet. <laughs> No, the spider bracelet opens up. He caused the car with it. Yeah. He yeah. has, like, his own private garage. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So this is this is what Marvel could face. I doubt it. Again, I, I don't see Marvel going any further than, like, settling out of court with the Ditko estate. So now, how about Doctor Strange? Now, here's the interesting thing about Doctor Strange. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, and please correct me in the comments if I am, Doctor Strange... The character, maybe not my name, I don't think he appeared my name, but the character appeared in another publication Whoa. by another company. Um, we may even have it in one of the pre-code classics, and I think the book, what was the book called? Holy crap. <laughs> I don't remember what it was called, but he appeared in that comic, mm -hmm. and I think it was basically Doctor Strange in all but name. Like, even the design, the way he looked, it was, was, it? It was Ditko's Doctor so Strange. So it wasn't called right. Doctor Strange, but was, it, was he ever referred to as Stephen Strange? I have no idea. Because, oh, wow. But if the character design was there, it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know what? I should have researched that a little better. But yeah, I, I, it's. I wish I knew what it was called. But yeah, he did appear in another publication, and it, it's the design is the same. Right. But I, I know yeah. he wasn't named Doctor Strange until the comic, because I guess originally they were going to call him Mister Strange, and like they were like, "It sounds sounds too much like Mister Fantastic." So that's yeah. how they came up with the Doctor Strange. Mr. Strange is his brother. He didn't get a PhD. <laughs> he didn't yes. get his PhD. He was, he, was just a, he was just a master of business administration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> he was, all he's good he for, crunching mistake. numbers. He was the mistake in the Strange family. Yeah, right? Yeah. Why couldn't you be a doctor like your brother Stephen? <laughs> I'm a civil servant, Mom. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. My I mean, degree would take me somewhere. <laughs> right. I mean, this is a strong case. This isn't like some frivolous, like, Frivolous in the sense of like this is this has merit. This case does have some manner of well, merit. I don't know if it does. That's, I, that's the problem. You know, it 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 it's nineteen seventy six is when the rules changed. Mm. So filing for a character before that, he technically was work for hire. He has to really prove. He has to really prove that it wasn't work for hire. That he actually gave the copyright or, or sold the copyright. Um, the the where I think it has merit, and I I believe this is what the estate of Ditko is banking on, is the fact that Marvel wouldn't dare tarnish their image, yeah. or Disney wouldn't tarnish their image by basically being hard asses. Right, and I yeah. think that's what the Ditko estate is counting. Well, sure. we gotta take into account that because <laughs> I think if they just went hog wild like old Disney of twenty thirty years ago, they with <laughs> under Michael Eisner, they would have just sued his ass and <laughs> sued the estate family into the ground. Yeah, yeah, and but, forgot about him like they did poor A. A. Milne. 
who used to own Winnie the Pooh, by the way, F Disney for the whole Winnie the Pooh thing. Don't buy anything Winnie the Pooh except the original books because it's a great story and they really F that fucking family over. Ooh, I better. Ooh, yeah, but yeah, um, that's something I'm really hot about. But right. modern Disney won't. I don't think they'll do that because well, it's it's too much negative. L- let me ask negative, you. Let me ask uh, this, uh, Tony. Let me ask you this because you were on Twitter. Right, you you said there was like a whole discussion about there's this. There's a big right? debate, and a lot of people are, a lot of people are siding with Disney and Marvel, and I'm like, really? Yeah. No, that's actually that's actually what I was gonna ask. Well, like, the, just from what you've seen, are mo- are people mostly siding with Marvel, or are they mostly siding with the Ditka? It's actually kind of split because well, the people who are siding with Marvel are obviously fans of the MCU, and like, no, we don't want to see Spider Man go away. At the same time, it's it's the same kind of people that. Threw a fit when uh, there was the issue between Sony and Marvel for like a quick period of time, like for like a sp- maybe I want to say like thing. Oh. It was called the Thing or Thing. Mm. It was an old pre-code classic horror comic, is where that design first appeared. Mm, anyway, okay. sorry, go ahead. Oh, I'll cut you off. Uh, it was like for a week maybe that Sony and Marvel called the deal off, and like there was so much backlash from people like, no, like Spider-Man belongs in the right, MCU, right. and like they're. Like, there were reports of, well, I don't want to say reports, but, like, Tom Holland admit that, he admitted that he got drunk during a phone call, like, like. Right. <laughs> I remember that, yeah. He got drunk during a phone call and what? He was drunk, I think, when they called, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, over him still being Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. I've, I, and I get the feeling that Spider-Man No Way Home ended on a cliffhanger on purpose so Tom Holland could still be Spider-Man. Yep. Okay. And That's interesting. But we also got to take into consideration I, that Disney themselves changed copyright laws <laughs> they did yeah. Uh, yeah mickey mouse was going to enter yeah. into the public, public domain, domain. Yeah. and they lobbied to change those laws so that mickey mouse continues to be yeah, uh, owned by disney and not in the public domain as he should be it's irritating yeah yeah i, I think um when you're talking about the whole spider-man marvel thing and why people are on marvel's side i understand why you would want them to continue to develop the character simply because i mean you know, at the end of the day, as much as I generally, as a rule, hate Disney as a corporation, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, they're the only ones with the money to really do anything with it. Yeah, I right. Mean, but unfortunately, that means now out of two movies, I have half of a movie that's decent. Which one? <laughs> well, which, whoa, whoa, whoa. a quarter of the two movies. <laughs> whoa, whoa, which one? Uh, I would say the third act of the Far From Home was good. It felt like a Spider-Man movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The rest of the, yeah, the rest of the movie sucked. Oh, um, give the glasses. And the first <laughs> movie, which was Welcome Vulture. Home or whatever, um, Homecoming. You know that most of that movie was garbage too. <laughs> I, I I really don't like what the mo- they, what they've done with Spider-Man. Right. I liked the by the grace of Tony Stark. I yeah. am so over and tired of i hate that spider-man was always out of all the mcu characters he was always sort of his own hero he was always a self-made hero Uh and that was part of his struggle and that was part of why he was part of the public consciousness so anyway like that's my my, that's my two cents my two cents on (laughs) mcu spider-man and whether or not the story continues from the whole dicko state issue is that like uh uh, just ended off quickly whatever (laughs) I prefer what Insomniac is doing with the character because... Oh, the games? Yeah, the games because... That story was good. Because here's the thing. with Insomniac And modernized. Ver- and yeah, because the Insomniac version of the character is like some is like probably the, one of the few versions it's of the character that I actually care about. Yes, it, it felt the game. Have you played the newer game? I have not. That, oh. is the, that is the most I have felt towards Spider-Man since reading it in the 80s. Really? Like it's like the story it's not, is It's real. not anything to do with movies, right? Correct? No. It's just its own... It's its own yeah. okay. sort of, a lot of sub-universe. A lot of influence from the movies, though, like especially yeah. the final battle being yeah. in a rooftop and all. But like... It's well, a version. yeah, some of the battles sucked, honestly. It's it, a, it reminded me of Arkham... Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum. The, the game is great, but the finale sucks. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's sorry, a version of Spider-Man who has a crap ton of gadgets, like the MCU version, right. but he builds them himself. But he builds them himself. He's and also he's probably in his mid to late twenties. Yes. And he, he has rent issues. His um, his jo- relationship. Issues. Yeah. His relationship on and off. Issues? His on and off relationship with his Mary Jane feels so natural and so real. Right. Like they genuinely care about each other. But they just can't seem to like their lives are just too different, and there's too many. There's always forces. something, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it just works. Yeah, and know? the way the portrays the game portrays his villains, holy yeah. crap! Like, yeah, even though Doc Ock, okay, really good Doc Ock in that game. <laughs> even though the villains don't as good get as, as Alfred Molina's. Yeah, oh my god! Even gosh. though the, a lot of the villains don't get as much development as right, they true. would in a movie. 
you get the feeling that Spider-Man did go through each one of them and sent them right. to prison one by one. Right. And when they form into the Sinister Six, it feels natural. It feels natural, right? Doctor Octopus leading them and like, why can't I get this right. in a Spider-Man movie instead right. of, you know? <laughs> There's something to be said about uh, how game how a game got it right over. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I an see, industry that uh, that that gets money for telling a story, <laughs> yes. and they're not great at like it. Like in the whole, mo- and you know, it was modernized in a lot of ways. Yeah. And even like Aunt May's sort of like sub arc. I mean, it all worked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even actually, even putting Miles in there as part of that universe worked. Yes, which was weird to me because I didn't expect that. Like, oh, right. it makes sense. I want to see like, that game uh, series have a proper conclusion uh, that yeah. actually works in comparison to the Batman well, Arkham series. Well, they are doing another one, right? Yes, yeah, Spider Man Two. Like, and I want to see that story have a proper good ending so yeah. i could say hey we got a spider-man story that felt complete it yeah. felt g- nothing felt out of character with it right yeah we got a solid modern spider-man story yeah. okay well we're getting into talking different, about different spi- spider-man yeah. and storytelling a spider-man that's yeah. that's but it, could, but it could potentially end if the deco state happens that's to- true now so this is my question is what what do you think is going to happen and personally i feel like it would be stupid for marvel not to try to settle out of court oh that's what I think is going to happen. I, yeah. I think it's going to boil down to this. At the end of the day, Marvel's not going to want to put because now, they don't want to be creative. Now, now in the internet internet age, if they if they play hardball, they're going to look like total douche. I was, you know, what I was going right. to bring that up too. Like in the court, how do they look in the court of public opinion? Right. Oh yeah. Right. So that's why a, I was asking you about Twitter. Well, well crap, of people. Already that's that's one advantage right. of the internet era, right? Yes. Because Mike under Michael Eisner in the '90s, they would have sued the Ditko State into the ground on multiple countersuits, <laughs> so yeah. where they financially <laughs> couldn't compete, like they did to A. Milne's estate. Mm-hmm. Um, but this, I don't think this era of Disney will do that. Um, I think not when everything is so out in the public the way it is now. I think yeah. they'll settle out of court, and now you'll start seeing Spider-Man created by Steve Ditko and Stan Lee on all the movies and stuff like right. that. That's what I think is going to yes. happen, and they're going to get paid. I mean, is at it going to be as much as they want? Who knows? But they're gonna at get the paid. end of the day, the money that they would pay the estate versus the money that they right. would make continuing to use the character. I mean, like, come on. Well, I don't think they're in risk of losing it. That's the thing, you know. I mean the. The Ditko thing, I mean the Ditko, the Kirby version of this, which happened a few years ago, was really tough to prove, but Kirby's such a name, you know what I mean? Yeah. But so is Ditko. He's also he's a legend, not quite to Kirby status, mostly because Ditko was so quiet and unassuming. Mm-hmm. But he's still kind of a legend. So, right. I mean, I think it's going to go the same way as the Kirby thing, recognition and some money, yeah. <laughs> basically. Because, I mean, they're just going to end up making way more money yeah. than they're going to pay out to the estate. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And then it keeps them in good graces with fans. Yeah. Instead of playing hardball. Oh, I know how they're going to spin this. They're going to be like, guys, we feel like the Ditko estate, like Steve Ditko deserves the credit for Spider-Man, so we're just going to go ahead and put his name on everything. Aren't we right. great, guys? Aren't are we, we fantastic? Are we great? Mm-hmm. Aren't we wonderful? Yeah. So that's what I believe is going to happen, but, right. you know. All right. Any- uh, who knows? Who knows? Any final thoughts on this whole lawsuit thing before we get out of here? I hope Even the Deco State wins. <laughs> but at the same time, I hope my favorite version Splat of Hell yeah. Give me, an air, give me an Air 5. Right. Yeah, but at the same time, I hope my favorite Spider-Man stories do get a proper conclusion. So that's the Insomniac one. Right. And yeah. maybe, well, the comics, the comics continuity, it's super rough. It's so but goofy right I hope now. Peter gets a proper conclusion yeah. at, for, at, at the very least. Yeah, right. Poor, poor Pete. <laughs> All right. Any final thoughts? Uh, no, that was that was it. They're gonna they're gonna give it to them, and because at the end of the day, it's all about making money, and they're gonna make more money. I would love to see Ditko's estate win and take the rights away, simply because I think it would fundamentally change all of this. But I don't think it's gonna happen. I, I maybe that's the cynical side. Mm. I mean, like I said, DC is and Marvel are famous for trademarking so many different aspects of these characters. It sucks. Yeah. You can't get away with anything, even if it's a public domain character. I mean, you know how many you know how many classic characters are actually in the public domain, but you can't use them. Yeah, because they're so tra- they're trademarked to death. Yeah, which seems like you know you the DC they, logo should be. Trademark. You can thank Disney for that. Right, yeah. 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 Anyway, um, that's my final thought. You know what? I can do without another Spider-Man movie for a while. So maybe if the Ditko yeah. Estate wins and they have the rights to Spider-Man for a few years and then they'll buy him back and then put out a decent Spider-Man movie, hopefully. Yeah. Um, not the same Speaking Spider-Man of... movie every 
couple well, years. <laughs> there is Spider-Man Lotus, which is a fan film that actually looks pretty freaking awesome. Really? Mm. Yeah, so you got to like, check out the suit, check out the trailer oh, okay. and all that. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. If you donate money, you might get a free copy. Noise. Anyway, <laughs> let us know what you think, guys, in the comments. Um, Are we right? Are we wrong? Yeah. Are we yeah. full of crap? Oh, and a little plug-in. Uh, my friend Titan Goji, he has a tech talk. He covered this. Oh, um, cool. Yeah, it's a Check TED it talk. Yeah, he, TikTok. TikTok. Oh, a TikTok. Yeah, I don't. Have I heard TED not talk. Nearly like, not nearly as serious. Not nearly as serious. A TED talk, talk about this? <laughs> Interesting. No. That was so quick. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he has a. Yeah, he has a. Are TED they just talk giving out TED talks? I would love <laughs> to do a TED talk. He has a TED talk, and well, I'm not, I'm not really a fan of TED talk. I died before using it. But um, wow. But, but yeah, do follow I, him. Yeah, <laughs> but do you, follow him. Yeah, do follow him. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Anything else? You guys got anything else? Good. 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 Oddity collectible. Oddity collectibles. T public slash. Have more. Hey, generous. hey. Oh, speaking of the T-Public. first step in having pride in oneself and having pride in one's creations. Right. I probably are. So I need you to talk about oddity collectibles like it's the greatest thing that you have ever created in your entire life. I would. And I, I'm more proud of. Go. My, I'm more proud of my go. comic books, which just, are currently aren't available. Just do what I just do what I'm telling <laughs> you. Go ahead, sell it, sell it like you mean it. T public slash go friendless. Oddity collectibles. Yeah. Lots of cool. Speaking t-shirts. of T public, uh, yeah. this mask was made by. Titan Goji. Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. All right. Very good. So good idea. Oddity yeah. Collectibles is a great shirt. I don't understand why we're not putting more energy into Oddity I, Collectibles. I would love awesome, to. I would awesome love to. shirts. Very much the kind of shirts that people go, what does that mean? You're like, oh, you don't know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> Which I love. Yeah. I absolutely love. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, yeah, uh, hit the hit the like and subscribe like. or dislike and subscribe, whatever. Tell and then how, just yeah, uh, tell us how full of crap And then we just are. Uh, in the comments, let us know what you think and if we're right or wrong. Yes. Uh, We will see you guys next week. Thank you. Thank you. Good Good night. night.